what's going on. I'm going to uh, refill this aqua. Show you how to do it from the bottom. Got it on an M16. It's a nice mech setup with it. I think it looks good. Uh, I take this drip tip out because it stops from being able to balance. I get it like this. I get like a finger holding this part here in the middle and then like a finger there. So I've got it held like that. And then I just twist only this bottom part. And once I feel like it's kind of loose, you don't really have to hold the bottom as much anymore. I try and be gentle with it so I don't smash my wicks up when it comes out. But now it's out. Take it out gently. There we go. You got your wicks, your coils. You can do whatever you want. You got this. So I do get a little bit of gunk kind of builds up in the top of this. So I do one of these. Paper towel. Take this. And do a little spin in the middle. Get the middle part cleaned out. Let's try and show you inside there. I can't tilt it up. See, so you just fill along the side. Like you can just see right there. So I'm going to do that. If I can find my juice. Oh, I think I know where it is. So I'm just going to go on the side. I fill it up until it's a little below the top level. So this is full, and you can just put it down on the top. It's fine there. And then the only thing you really got to worry about, once you've done this, when you take it apart, it does mess the, uh, the wicks up a little bit. You can see there's, like, wicks standing up over here. Looks like there's, like, a chunk of juice stuck to it. So I use a little tiny screwdriver and just get it all nice and back in the channels. It doesn't take very long. It's not, not a big deal. It's kind of nice, too. Sometimes, like, I'll fluff them up a little bit. Uh, you can see here I've got the uh, wick. Oops. The wick comes all the way to the end of the channel. It tucks in, it goes down, it comes all the way out to the end. That's how I run all my wicks. Peaches and cream yarn. Walmart. It looks like this. Peaches and cream yarn. And it's tricolor. They don't have a white at my Walmart for some weird reason. So then I want to put this back on. So I just hold this and I kind of get it. I try and get it like nice and centered in the middle. So it's going to just kind of slip in there. Without messing my wicks up at all. I kind of wiggle the bottom a little bit. I get the O-ring nice and even, and then I hold both like I did before. And I usually give this a few turns like this, and then I actually go to just the juice control, and I tighten that up all the way. Now I've got the juice control pretty tight. Put it back on. And then I set my airflow, and I like the, uh, I get like a point where I get the aqua, logo lined up with the M16 logo right there and I know I'm happy with the airflow right around there basically I never have to open up the juice control on this and you can hear there's no gurgle I mean it's nice and clean airflow so you can see that works very nice that way and uh, I suggest you do it the exact same method